Episode 8. Pe de un muthois canois pepistelcate thelgasthai musicae tazoa hupolambanantes aletheas de human ta prosopon ta phaidron monon hos eoiken epiplastan enai doke kaitois apestias hupopeptoken aphthomois. Now Clement continues and he asks this question, Pe. In what way, de, particle, so in what way, then, or therefore, un, muthois kenois, in these empty fables, kenois means empty, it's an adjective, muthois is what it modifies, and these together are masculine, plural, and dative. In these empty fables, why, or how, have you trusted, pepistelkate? This, of course, is second person plural, Perfect, indicative, and active. You can tell that it is perfect because of the reduplication here, because of the presence of the kappa. Why then have you trusted in these empty fables, namely, hupalambanontes, supposing that animals, tasoa, hupalambanontes, is a participle taken from the verb hupo, lambano. Lambano is to take, Pa is to take under. It means to suppose or to suggest, to believe, to take as true, to assume, something like that. And it is a present participle. You see, it's built on the first principal part. It is a present active participle, and it is masculine, plural, and nominative. It is then the subject of pepistelkata because it's nominative. This comma here, of course, is an editorial decision, and in some ways it disrupts the Grammar in that hupalambanantes, as I've said, is the subject of pepistelkate. Supposing that these animals, thelgesthai, are delighted, are pleased by music. And thelgesthai here is in oratio obliqua, indirect statement, the subject of which is the neuter, tazoa, and then the infinitive. The infinitive here is in the passive voice. Again, as I've said, tazo is the subject, and musike is a dative of means, that they are delighted or pleased by means of music. That's a question introduced by Pe. But, he says, de adversative here, of the truth, this is genitive, feminine singular genitive, of the truth to you, the face, to pros upon. What kind of a face is it? It's a shining, tophydron, the shining face of truth to you, only it. So it seems, this is a parenthetical, ut apparet would be the Latin equivalent, so it seems, the shining face of truth alone, so it seems, seems, doke, to you, human, to be epiplaston. And this means plastered over or covered up, as the LSJ says, and so feigned or false. Only the shining faith of truth seems to you feigned or false. And, now here's the second verb, hupopeptoken, and this is from hupopipto, which means to fall underneath, and thus to be subject to, to fall under the gaze of, and to have fallen beneath apestias aphthomois, the eyes of disbelief. So this very nice sentence here has one subject, to pros upon, the face of truth. It has two verbs, doke and hupopeptoken. 